What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You're gonna ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Cabby. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? Nah, you don't lose your job that easy. I hate sin. Brown, born as hell. Find anything good? Boss says you're not nah, ready I, to come out on collections. I'm watching you. What can you do? Got it. I, I get it. What his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to. Think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Which as of today stands at 11%. As high a value as was recorded during the depression of 1921. Pressed on whether the unemployment could continue to worsen, the White House press secretary, George Akerson, spoke of public works programs that had increased spending in the hopes of providing fiscal stimulus. Whether or not these efforts will be Assista, ricordi? Ah, sì, sì. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any, uh... Heavy lifted. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. We gotta go. I'll drive back your That'd be good. Bongiorno, Vincenzo! Ciao, Polly! Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this, then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right. Good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or rods? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with him, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. I'll fix you with a gat. You can look around, sure. But Martin leaves the room. Ralphie's in the garage. 
He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just a car. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey, genius! <laughs> get your head out of your ass! <laughs> Fuck you, Papali. You can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sh -sh -sh sure, Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said. Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the, to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Rouse trying to pull giving us this. Lost Heaven Radio. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. Put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Key, okay. go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Jobs. Yeah, like that. He's got his main guys. We'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump from behind. I'm real good at distracting. It's my best thing. What the hell are you doing? What do you 
don't mean what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? Who are you? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's that guy's all over town trying to get my red little black guy. Dino makes you card the cards? This fella, who are you? You know Dino? Yeah, I know Dino. There was this one time when I had the chance to get him from behind and choke him out. But for some reason, it's like that. You got it. So let's get to these cars. Take it back and start swinging. I'm not gonna do it for you. <laughs> Come on, Tom. We're up against it here. Hey. <laughs> That's great. <great. laughs> no one's dropping <laughs> up again. Ah, crap! Hey, get away from the car! Come Knock get it! Knock it down, Tom! That's some kind of death wish? Hmm? Oh, son of a... Just like that! You got it! There's gonna be more of them! Use a Molotov and let's see some flames! You know this is Dino's car. I don't like you, and you got a good car. I'm gonna know where you. There's reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! There's you! Don't let him get away! Run out, you bastards! Ah, oh, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Salieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How'd it feel? Feel good? Of what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. Busy days, it's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got the beat up? Try careful, we don't need the attention. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. 
I always thought that to be in a family, you had to have more connections. Your brother, or your uncle, or... Oh, some guys, sure. A cousin got made, or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A b -b better car with a b -b broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead, and all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on the payroll because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. You abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's see. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook, but his daughter Sarah, Maron, 